Okay. Yeah, right here. Curious, what's your opinion on M theory or string theory? That is to say, do you feel that it could be the, you know, theory of unification or is it just a theoretical pipe dream, in your opinion? Right now? It's smelling a lot, very, smelling pipe dreamy, I think. I've been following these guys for 27 years. And every five years, I ask them, how much longer? <laughs> and they say, just a couple more years. And I ask them every five years. <laughs> just a couple more years. So I did this in 1982, 87, 91, you know, and so something's wrong here. And they said, well, it's a hard problem to unify all the forces of the world and put everything under one equation and make it all the beautiful vibrating strings. It's hard. That's the answer they give rather than, we're just too stupid. <laughs> General relativity was hard. It was done by one man. It took him nine years. We had experimental proof three years later. I'm ready for another idea from them. But they're the only game in town, and they're really inexpensive. You just buy a few pencils for them, maybe a sharpener. <laughs> they're good to go. <laughs> Throw in a laptop. Fine. <laughs> they're not in anybody's way. So I'm, not, I'm okay with that. Okay? But I'm no longer their champion. I used to speak praises of them. I don't... Uh, and, and just because they want it to be elegant doesn't mean the universe agrees. <laughs> right? Most efforts to layer onto the universe our own sense of what is elegant have failed from the very beginning of thinking about the universe. So I'm losing my confidence, but I don't volunteer that fact. It has to be asked of me, as you just did. Okay. The last two questions.